Hi, my artist. So today we are going to learn about two things. We're going to learn about an artist named Pablo Picasso, and we're going to learn about a type of artwork called, or an art style called Cubism. So Pablo Picasso was a very, very famous artist, and he's still very famous today. And he worked a lot in the Cubist style, and you're going to learn more about that and see more of it in just a minute. So Cubism, or when I say that someone is a cubist, what that means is that it was an art movement or style that is seen in paintings, architectures, and sculptures. Now, those are all really big words, aren't they? So basically what that means is that you can see it in artworks. So when I talk about architecture, that means buildings like this one here. Okay, so this is a building that's made in the cubist style. So when we talk about cubism, what we mean is that there's geometric shapes, so shapes with angles and points. All right, the only geometric shape that does not have a point is the circle. But every other pointy shape you see is a geometric shape. All right, does that make sense? A geometric shape, other than a circle, has points. But a circle is a geometric shape. Okay, I know that's a little bit confusing, but do you see all the points on this building? So you've kind of got triangle shapes on the roof. This rectangle shape has points, one, two, three, four. All the windows have points. Lots and lots of rectangles here. And then when we talk about cubism in paintings, we mean um, it's a type of art where you can see things from different angles. So instead of being flat, and just seeing the front, you can also see the side. Okay, so you're going to see that in just a minute. So again, Picasso was the artist that I said um, was known so much um, for his cubist style, but he's also known for a lot more. So his full name is right here. Now that is a long name, isn't it? But most people know him by Pablo and Picasso. All right, here's a picture of him when he was around my age. Here's one of his cubist pictures. You see all the sharp angles? You can probably see a person there, but you also see lots of angles. So here's a few facts about him. He lived from 1881 to 1973. He was a Spanish painter, sculptor, printmaker, ceramicist, and theater designer. So all of those are types of art. All right, so he was from Spain, but he spent most of his life in France. He's known for co-founding the Cubist movement. So he was one of the people that began this movement. And he's known for the co-invention of the collage, which is when you take things and you combine them together. Normally paper or pictures. We've done that if you've had me before, okay? Some of you haven't, and that's okay. We will make collages this year, okay? So here's one of his pictures. Now, do you see what I mean about you can see it from different angles? So this picture doesn't really look real, does it? You can tell it's definitely a painting. So what he does is he draws. So this eye right here is kind of like my eye where you're seeing straight on. This eye is supposed to be where their face is turned. Okay, so he's showing you different angles of her face, just like he's doing with her hand. So you can see some of her hand like this, some of her hand like this. All right. So those are your different angles. Here's a funny one that doesn't even have anything to do with cubism. I just thought you might like it. This is called a bull's head. Do you know what this is made out of? If you like to ride your bicycle, it might look familiar. So this is his bicycle seat and handlebars. All right. So that should show you you can make artwork out of anything. Okay. So that is what's really cool about Picasso is he had a wide variety of things he made. He painted. He worked in the theater. He made sculptures like this bull's head. Okay, he did all kinds of things. He even did stuff like this where it was just sketching. Okay, this is Don Quixote. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do just a simple cubist picture. What we're going to do 
is we are going to make a flower picture. Okay, pretty simple, right? So what you need to do is you need to get a piece of paper and either get markers or crowns. Okay, it's up to you, but you do need a black one. Okay, so a black marker or a black crown. All right, so paper and either markers or crowns. And then I need you to go on to the next video and that'll be where we learn how to draw it, okay? I'll see you at the next video. Bye.